All right, this is what we got. This is all part of my bait system. Y'all remember when the 18 wheeler come over to the house and dropped off my 100 gallon livestock well? There you go. This is a homemade filter. I'm gonna filter all the crud and stuff that comes from the bait fish. It's gonna get filtered through this four inch PVC pipe. I got special marine grade filters in there for that. And this right here is a three quarter horsepower water pump. This is the intake, this is the outtake. This is gonna pull the raw water in. This is gonna push this water through the filter. And that's what's gonna keep the water clean and the bait and alive. Now what the process is gonna be, we're gonna mount everything on the fence right there. So the, this will go on the fence, the filter will go on the fence, the water will be underneath the system and it'll circulate through the system, through the pump, through the filter, back into the livestock tank. And that should keep some bait fish alive for the summer. Everybody struggles with bait during the summer. It's hard to keep alive. The bait shops have a hard time getting good bait for lunkers. So when you do get some good bait, you better be have a place to store it. That way when it rains in the afternoon, you can't go out there and get your own bait. That day, you got some stored bait. One way or the other, you gotta get out there. And this is how you gotta do it. Yeah. All right, so the first step was to get the pump. Everything is gonna go through the pump. That's like the central part of the system. So I got the pump mounted on the fence. I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit here. That should hold it. Now, everything's gonna go to the pump. In, out. Next step will be to hook up the filter, get a good place for that to sit. Then we're gonna fill up the tank and we're gonna see how she runs. This is like the fragile part. You don't want to. You don't want to break your fittings. You got the stuff with the uh, silicone, 5200. It really stinks to break a fitting. So you got to be kind of fragile when you're taking the hoses off. Probably have to recut the hoses a couple of times to make it work exactly the way you want it. We're going to strip the system and start from bare. Try to get a pretty decent tight fit. We're going to let, I reckon we let this whole system run for about a day, day and a half, make sure there's no glitches. Then we'll add the final finishing touches. the issue the fittings probably going to have to find a different different system for that fitting it kind of stinks if that just happened but we'll be all right i kind of knew that was going to happen i was hoping i could test it first but it's all good I don't know. We're gonna do this temporary for right now to make sure that the everything's right. You want to make sure the placement of everything jives before you make it permanent. Once you know the system's going to work, then you can make everything permanent and tighten everything up. This is just going to be a test trial. Plus, no project's complete if, if you don't go through at least a half roll of duct tape. It's just the way it goes. Going to do a project? 
you are going to roll through your duct tape. A real easy way to test it out. If it doesn't work like that, just snip right through that duct tape and try a new, new approach, but it's going to work out. It's just to make sure you get the placement correct. Nah, not too bad. Alright Taco, take it easy over there pal. Alright. This is why you make everything where well, you can move it just a little bit at first so you don't do anything that limits you later. So that's it in a nutshell. Wish that piece didn't break because then I could actually really test it. Need a longer hose here anyway. Now, <laughs> I just need to make one hose straight down for the pickup. That's how I do it.
only one way to find out if this is even going to work. That's to turn the damn thing on. So I'm going to fill it up with fresh water right now. Get enough water in there. At least so the intake can pick it up. Then it circulates. Everything does what I want it to do. We'll make it permanent. So. Oh yeah, it should start coming out of there. There it goes. Look at that, huh? And I was worried. I was worried that the pump wasn't going to have enough juice. You see that? Just goes to show you that my handy dandy live bait machine. Is up and it's running as you can see look at the stream I got going I reckon that pump I reckon that pump is probably way overkill but I bet you the fish like it I like it pretty good. I don't see any major leaks going on, which is nice because I don't even have any clamps on anything yet. I'm rolling with my new live well system. Think this thing's gonna end up working? Or do you think I should throw it away?